look who I found! We're finally in Austin working on the van together! Woo! Finally! <laughs> it's been since January since we've both been here to work on the van, since we bought it, which is nuts. So hopefully having an extra set of hands will make things go smoother. Rookie hands. <laughs> Yesterday we took the day off to go explore Austin a bit. We filmed a really fun vlog with all of our favorite things to do and eat in Austin. So that'll be coming out soon. So make sure you click the bell so you get notified when that vlog is yeah. live. And now we have two full days to get some good work done on the van. We've gotten quite a bit done so far. So let's show you what we've done. So what we've been working on is getting the tops of the benches in. We have all three and we're fitting them, test fitting them with the hinges here. These are kind of in and also drilling the holes that these are going to be the handles right here. So I've got another drill hole to drill right there and then I'll jigsaw that out and it'll be sort of like this one. This one's a little further along. So action. That way we don't smash our fingers when we try to open and close this because so far it's been risky. No one's lost a finger yet, but it's been a close one. <laughs> So we added this wood right here so that way our table has something to lay on when we convert our seating area into our bed at night. So the tabletop will fit perfectly on here and then we'll have a nice sturdy surface to lay on. So right now I'm working on getting our lagoon table installed. So we've put a little backer on the back of this bench. We're gonna attach this to the back bench. And what this table is, or this, ta this contraption is, is we'll attach our tabletop to here and we'll be able to raise our table, lower our table, swivel our table and then at night we basically just unattach this and put it away we rest the tabletop down and then we have a bed womp womp the bolts aren't long enough so the table will not be getting installed right now now we are working on making boxes to go around the wheel wells i think i've mentioned this before but we're doing this so one we can stuff this with insulation and hopefully help with some road noise and just insulate the van more and then two We'll have some space on top of the wheel wells that otherwise would have been useless because of just the curves and everything that we can actually store some stuff. So it'll give us a little bit more store or just space to work with to maximize the space as best as we can. Our hero, Adam ran to Home Depot and got us the right bolts to install our table today. Woo. Let's see if it fits, if it works. Drop it down. Okay. How exciting. <laughs> Many games of Catan will be dominated on this table. Tight tightening up that one. We have a dinner table in our van, workstation, game table, anything you want to call it. And turns into our bed. And it turns into our bed. So uh, many purposes. So it swivels and it can raise and lower and all kinds of stuff. Um, but the issue we're having is this. It's kind of a little wobbly. And the thing is, it says on their website, this is a lagoon table. It says yeah. that it's not supposed to wobble. So yeah. we're not sure maybe our table's too long. We did just yeah. try to like change where it was attached underneath to make it more centered. But I don't know. So yeah, if you have any tips for us with this lagoon uh, stand or swivel thing, swivel, or yeah. swivel uh, to prevent this, we're talking, we're thinking about like putting a couple legs that like kind of retract up under. But that's what I can think of. There's but also a shim. Yeah, there's a shim that'll go here, but that's just gonna help with like raising it up, have a higher starting point. That's not gonna prevent any wobbling. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at right now. Kind of a bummer, but still bummer, exciting. but very exciting in my eyes. Well, it is now the next day and we're trying to get some stuff done, but we keep having a few roadblocks. We were hoping that this weekend, having the three of us working on stuff, we could each like work on a different task mm -hmm. and things would go faster, but it's proved to not be the case. Yeah, they <laughs> like her dad will tell us how to do something and we're like, okay, we'll do it. And then we get there and it's like, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, yeah. how do you do this? And then he's got to walk us through each piece. So then he ends up doing it. And <laughs> <laughs> so basically like, instead of teaching one person how to do stuff, he's having to teach two people. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's actually taking- Which was kind longer. of the goal of it all anyways. Like he's teaching us how to do stuff, but at some point it's got to be- Faster. Gradually released like for us to do our own thing. Yeah, which we are trying to do our own stuff. Yeah. Um, 
Um, so right now my dad's working on the wheel well boxes because we had some... Uh, it's round two of that. Yeah, we had Not a... the second one, but round two of the first one because <laughs> we had it all cut and everything, but then we pieced it together incorrectly. And so when we set it in there to set it in there, it it didn't fit because it, now the measurements were wrong. So, so my dad's redoing that. Um, but uh, the good news is that we got some part of like the bench's wheel well, wheel well area done. We got these walls put in. So basically this wall right here was not there, it was just insulation. And so now we have that. So at least we have that kind of closed in. Now we just need to work on the actual wheel wall area. And while my dad's working on that, we are trying to build drawers for the first time ever. <laughs> Specifically our dresser drawer. So what we've done is Adam's made an awesome little sketch. So these are my awesome artistry skills here. So measuring everything and trying to transfer it on a paper, I guess, to get a better mental picture for myself. Um, and then now we're trying to use uh, this plywood here, measure out, see how much we can, how efficient we can be with it, basically not waste any wood. It's really fun being here together though. Oh so. yeah, it's, it's <laughs> way more. It's just like, it's fun. Cause you know, we're both clueless. And so we get to be clueless together. We get to laugh get to be frustrated together. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't been like the smoothest weekend. We have not gotten done as much as we hoped, but yeah. the day's still young. We still have a lot of time, a lot of daylight sure. left. We probably can get another like eight hours. If, if we can get on a roll, we'll get going. Yeah. So we're crossing our fingers that we get a lot done still before Adam leaves Wish tomorrow. <laughs> we're not trying to be negative or sad. <laughs> we feel like our moods are not the best today, but to be honest, this van building process is hard. Yeah, it's a huge learning curve. Like we don't have any <laughs> handy skills like we've said, and um, it's just hard. Everyone <laughs> said it would take 10 times longer. It was yeah. gonna be really hard, but I just was trying to be really optimistic about it. And we still are trying to be really positive about it because it is really cool that we're building our home yeah. and that we get to do what we're gonna get to do and travel all around the US. But it's definitely a hard process. So at times it feels a little overwhelming we feel a little defeated and today's maybe one of those days but yeah. it's but gonna I, it's gonna pay off yeah i think at the end like like i said yesterday or the day before that at the end it's just gonna feel better knowing that like we kind of did it ourselves yeah. versus like just going and buying it yeah we're gonna done. be we're never gonna regret building it ourselves but we may never do it again <laughs> Okay, we have the drawers all cut out. Woo! Good news. And I brought Adam a treat. Oh, I was wondering what that smell <laughs> was. Oh my goodness. Only Cheers. one for you. Woo! Bacon celebration. Thanks, mm. Mom. <laughs> I love bacon. Mm. It's a little things. You gotta reward yourself. That's what was a pick me up I needed. <laughs> Is it okay now? It's closer, Yay! I think. I think it's good. I think the, I think the biscuit. It. I think the biscuit was was not in the slot, centered. So he was forcing it. It was my fault. We just had a biscuit situation. We did something correctly. Correct. Woo! Finally. It didn't look good at first, but we did it. <laughs> and now we actually have to put it all together for real. One, two, three. Drawers done. Put Woo! together. Assembled. But not put in the van yet. No. One We're more step. Let this one dry. Make a Home Depot run, of course. And then get them in. They're going in! Look at that. We have the drawer! That's so cool. Big news of the day, big accomplishment was we got these drawers in. We made the drawers, we got the drawers in, got the tracks on. Almost by our, 100% by Almost ourselves. Almost by ourselves. Tom helped us cut it out, but we pieced it together mostly ourselves, glued it all together, biscuited it, and put the tracks on ourselves. And they're almost perfect. We got a few kinks to work out, but they all work. And so this top drawer up here is gonna be mine. Second one's gonna be Catherine's, and then this third one is gonna be like a shared one. Shared one. So this and is where we're gonna store 
all of our clothes, yep. all of our socks, all of our jackets. Yeah, all that they're nice stuff. and big. This is gonna yeah. be plenty. We'll have packing cubes in here to keep organize it all organized it. and it's gonna be perfect. Exciting stuff. And then the butcher block will go on top of here and this will be nice cooking, cooking, cooking prep area, space, prep stuff. Getting ready space. Whatever, yeah. Yay! Yay, getting stuff done. Finally. And that's a wrap for my time here. I'm heading back to Seattle tomorrow morning and uh, you're gonna continue on, right? Yeah, I have six more days here, including a weekend. So I'm hopeful that when Adam shows up again next week, cause he's coming back really fast a few days after I get back to Seattle, Second he'll be like, June. dang, yeah. you got so much stuff done. That's I what always I'm hoping. am, I always <laughs> am impressed. That's what I'm hoping, but yeah. we'll see. I honestly don't know what I'm working on next. So you'll just have to wait and find out because mm, I don't, surprise. I don't really know. Cause <laughs> I just kind of wait and see what my dad thinks is the best thing to do next. Yeah. Cause he's, super smart but you know we got quite a bit done we, we got did. the benches finished we did not get the um boxes un inside the bench finished that's a task for tomorrow that is one thing i know we got the table done we got the drawers in so not as much as we hoped it started a little rocky today but we got we something big done yeah well, that was our goal when we started working on this around noon and it's like 8 45 so, <laughs> so dark I mean, out it's just it's just a lot of work we're getting eaten just alive like by said. mosquitoes yeah Adam i got in a got fight, in a fight with a mosquito yeah <laughs> it's really hot and humid oh, we man. smell we have bites all over us so it's time to go shower and go to bed now we put in a hard <laughs> day's work today <laughs> hold it on square imagine a line going through that screw all the way through this screw and you're not imagining it <laughs> This is an ab workout. Honestly, <laughs> I feel it, like I'm at a coffin. Easier if you're on this side and you just go like this and work on it. Well, this is more fun this way. <laughs> I'm in a coffin. I'm rising from the dead. I'm really bad at this part.